Thank you, Senator Portman, and uh, Senator Hatch, thank you for inviting me to join the, my colleagues here uh, and for your leadership in, in uh, promoting the private sector, because I think uh, Senator Hatch understands that it is the private sector that creates long-term self-sustaining jobs, not government. Um, so I'm here today really to speak as a business person. Now, I don't claim to speak for every business person in America, but the fact is I've been operating in the private sector, a manufacturing business for the last 31 years. And you know, I'm used to dealing with business leaders, people that, that accomplish something, people that know how to solve problems, people know how to get things done. And I can tell you that business leaders, when they look at Washington, they see a couple things. They see a system that's horribly broken. And unfortunately right now, they see a president that simply isn't leading. So they have no confidence, none. And the fact of the matter is, I think what's really holding our economy back is the total lack of unconfidence, the high level of, of uncertainty that plagues our economy. And let's face it, why should they have confidence? I mean, why should they? You take a look in the Senate that I serve in now, that's controlled by the Democrats. The Senate has not passed a budget in over two years. We've added more than $4 trillion to our nation's debt over the last three years. You know, the, the President's fiscal 2012 budget that he just released last, about two months ago, under great fanfare, said that this was the solution to the problem. It was going to add $13 trillion to our debt. And when it came up for a vote two, two weeks ago in the U.S. Senate, it lost zero to 97. Now that's stunning. Not one member of the President's party thought his budget was serious enough to give it a vote. And let's face it, two months ago, we almost shut down our entire government because we were arguing over a couple billion dollars when our problem is measured in the trillions. And now we hear the president just yesterday in a press conference, he said, you know, he's not really, he's not really worried about a double-dip recession. Well, I can tell you, President Obama, I'm incredibly worried about a double-dip recession. I think most American people are as well. You know, we are bankrupting America. As a business person, the people I know running businesses, if their business was in jeopardy of going bankrupt, they would be rolling up their sleeves. They'd be working 16, 17, 18 hours a day to solve the problem. And yet our president is totally disengaged. He sent his vice president to negotiate what? Maybe once a week, twice a week. We are facing a debt crisis and our president is just phoning it in. I find that very disappointing. I think the American people find that disappointing. Now, I'll be the first to admit, this president inherited a very bad situation. But I totally agree with Peggy, Peggy Noonan in her column this week. The problem is he's made it far worse. If we really want to get this economy going again, the first thing we should do is repeal the entire Obama agenda, Obamacare, the financial regulation bill. These things are huge drags on our economy. Probably won't be able to do that. The other thing that's un very unfortunate, we can't repeal the $4.2 trillion that he's added to the nation's debt in just th the last three years. But what we can do is we can, make, we can take a stand on this debt ceiling vote. The only way that we are going to be able to get this economy growing again is we've got to restore confidence in the economy. The way we do that is we've got to show the American people that we are serious about addressing the out-of-control spending and debt in this nation. We have got to do this. You don't grow the e economy by engaging in class warfare. How does that help? You don't grow the economy by increasing people's taxes. You know, we do need additional revenue, but we need to increase revenue the old-fashioned way, by growing our economy, by relying on the private sector. We need to get government out of the way, let the innovation, the entrepreneurism, the American spirit take charge, grow the economy and start creating jobs. That's what this is all about. Thank you.